interested to hear your input on natural healing of cancer in less affluent populations. In other words, what do you recommend for persons unable to afford organic or all natural labeled products and supplements? Right. Well, that, and that's a very good and important question. Um, the the thing about food is we all overeat. Okay, uh, way overeat, and we do know all the studies uh, in every mammal. Um, that they've ever studied, including humans, that they, uh, less is more. The, the, when you cut down your caloric intake, the longer you live. So what I would say is eat less, but make sure it's high quality. So instead of eating three big meals a day, eat one small organic meal, and you'll live longer for many reasons. Now, remember, if it's not organic, it's got herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides. And you know what that rhymes with? Suicide, homicide, and genocide. Clearly not the side you want to be on. So I would never advise anyone to do it. It would be kind of like going to the, a restaurant and the waiter comes by and after you, he serves you the salads, he's got a little can of black flag and he says, would you like a squirt? Um, no, no thanks. So anyway, th- we have to look at it. When it's not organic, um, now people are saying, yeah, but you know, even um, even some of the, you know, Walmart's selling organic now, so is it really organic? And yeah, that's a good question, but here's the thing. If it's labeled organic, it's more likely to be organic than if it's not labeled, right? And it's more likely to probably be a little bit better. Because here's the thing. What we want to do is we want to eat the least amount of poisons. So what can someone do who doesn't have a lot of financial resources? They can make sure that they only buy quality food and that they don't overeat. Remember, overeating, which I don't know if you all know this, but when you overeat, that's probably the fundamental thing that turns off our immune system. So, I mean, that's, that's a crazy thing to do. So by undereating, staying a little, bit, a little bit hungry and having a good satisfying meal once a day so you're well-nourished is long life and, and health. Um, and as far as supplements and things like that go, um, if you don't, if you're eating right and keeping your colon clean and exercising and sleeping and all that, you really don't need a whole lot of supplements. Supplements are for those who don't live healthfully. So, but, and then, and then, as far as therapies goes, it depends. If you have an advanced stage three or four cancer, then um, you know I'd be happy to help guide you through that. And you know, there might be other people in your in your part of the world that would help you help guide you through that. But you know, when you get to advanced stages, um, sometimes you need some some help.